we got ourselves a team battle going on to understand if our alcoholic auntie Mirela is actually that good. She seems to be pretty good. Last episode was a lot of different mind games and stuff like that. And I think we ended off with her baiting Ritz and then running away even more. Let's see what's going to happen today. Booyou. Is today finale? Why? Are... <laughs> Shit. It's the finale! No one told me it's the finale. I should have my suit on. They're doing this intro recap thing, meaning it's... Uh, it's too long. I'm not putting the suit on. It's all right. All right, we're running away. What is her plan after baiting them all the way? Oath. Oath from Mireil to stop drinking? Uh oh! We set that up? Okay, random ass traps. The hole doesn't matter to him. This episode has straight up turned into Mario Kart, where everyone's just laying down banana peels and different fucking traps, man. Uh, what's the plan? Uh, earring? No, earpiece. What was that? Oh, right! It's the magic that they showed us in those bottles last episode. Ritz does actually get really scary. The newbie signal, uh, our secret agent. <laughs> Whose team are you on? She got upset, she got jealous. Listen, you gonna have to become big and strong if you want to carry ours around like that. <laughs> Come on, Misha. I don't know about that. I think this is part of the plan. We're distracting with Mireille, and then what is their other group doing? Cute animal. Never mind. No! Because we took the others with Mirela and Ritz exactly. Alright, alright, this is still according to plan. This is still? Wait, what? But? Come on, newbies. <laughs> I just kind of used the power of getting mad. Like, aren't you tired of being shit on? Aren't you tired of them thinking that you're just nothing? Get mad and fuck them up is the plan. Honestly, it is a good underground motivation. Oh! Nani! <laughs> they got us. <laughs> so, 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 Rosal didn't see the second line. We were just hiding and they're like, oh, must be equal. Psych, we actually still got more layered down. Yeah, because only Mirel and, you know, uh, Ars is running away from Ritz and Ritz is bringing everybody and they're just chasing like a bull, like a mad bull. And then... Their squad takes all the forces. We still have all ours here. And then they are halved on their side, Rotzel's side. So now it's half of them versus all of ours, even though it's newbies and they're mad. <laughs> yep. OP. Boing. You lucky <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Now we know. She knew that would happen. Now we know positioning where they are, and now we can do what exactly? They're close by, huh? So, is the plan to basically regroup with the rest of our forces? 
because they're close by and we've already taken on enemy forces and then the traps have gotten rid of you know ritz's people so by the time we circle back and you know we, we we reunite and ritz will follow but ritz has no men they've all been just like done by the traps right and russell and charlotte and they're all done too so when we go back to our main forces now it's gonna be everyone of ours versus ritz and it's gonna be easy i think I do a love bullying kids. I don't listen, child abuse is bad, but there's something funny about this right now. Get it fast! I remember last episode? The little fucker was like, oh, what does a strategist need to train cardio for, right? Nah, this is where you need a cardio right now. Yeah, we split them up, and we've already taken care of the other half. She is a genius. The plan honestly wasn't that complex, but it was very efficient. You telling me she wasn't even going all out? Cause like, she's running with another kid on her back while Ritz is going all out and he still can't keep up. And now she's going, now I'm gonna try. Wait, so Ritz, hold on, <laughs> okay, okay. You see this? Bro took the jacket off. Uh-oh. Maybe it was a weighted jacket. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> yeah? Oh! To get like a recap of like each character and what they've gone through. <laughs> the running animation in the middle is kind of funny though as we get to see all the different things that happen in season one. <laughs> It's fluid running. It's just funny that he's just in the middle of this. <laughs> Mireille's still faster. Man, this running animation is so good right now. Like, I'm comparing this to like Classroom of the Elite. Like, like imagine if the running scene between Manabu and Ayanokoji or even like the season three mountain running animation was like this. Like the running here is actually really good. Like sometimes when anime does running, it feels like their their positions are just like not moving, but their bodies are. But like here, everything is moving on pace, on tempo with the running. Even R is bouncing around. Mirel right here. <laughs> here we go. What's gonna happen? Flashbang! You gonna actually kill him? One more! What happened? Oh! Miro got first, right? Okay, okay, okay. She went easy. She went easy. She was running so fucking fast. Just be like, I'ma get you, kid. I'ma get you, kid. Just full speed. I thought she'd knock him out of the fucking park. Just home run, but soft little touch. She actually just hard carried by herself. Like, hard carry metaphorically and literally while carrying ours. Her entire plan at a huge disadvantage. No one can denounce her now. No one can possibly think that she's useless. Now she can have, you know, free, like, the special privileges and just day drink all day at fucking work. She's too good. <laughs> Sober Mirela OP. <laughs> Overwhelming. At least she's not too jealous that she was mad. Everyone got power crept so hard. Like, like if you think about it, Mirail just like showed up and power crept Ritz. You know, everybody. Like, like they're like. Well, we can't power creep Charlotte. Charlotte can use magic, unless Mirail knows how to use magic too. That would be insane. I don't think we saw an SS ma magic stat for Mirail. Dirty tricks, strategy, fair fight. There's no fair fight in war. Skill issue. In a battlefield, you think people care? True. <laughs> I still think she sucks, but... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Might be the only MILF with the fang. Right? 
Like, look at her. She is straight up the only one with the fang right over. It's very tiny. There's a small fang here. I thought the uh, fangs were reserved for like lollies usually, huh? <laughs> They should drink it out and become friends. Ah, you know what would be next level right now? If Ritz was like 1v1, you and me. Let's just fight. Just to see how good Mirel is at fighting as well. Just 1v1. We saw the strategy. We saw the leadership. Yes. I want to see like, like power scaling now in a 1v1 duel. If she wins against Ritz, oh my god. No! No! Request that duel! Throw your glove at her face! Yeah, here's the cardio. Here's the cardio training we're talking about. She gonna ruin the moment? What could she say? Mm, she'll probably say something alcohol related. Alright. What's up? Little kid. That was pretty smart. Okay. So like it, he made it a bit challenging for us. Okay. I was saying do shit. <laughs> like like I know his role is to pick people so that like they can work for him, but like if you think about the test, bro didn't do shit except get carried and fucking scream the entire time. If you really think about what Ars does in this show, of course he picks the retainers, of course he vets and scouts for important people to work along, but we're at a point where it's like everyone else doesn't work and he's just like, oh my god, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> World domination. No, I don't think it's that kind of show. We're just trying to live up to her father's name. And I don't know, just make sure people are taken care of. And that one day, people like Charlotte and like the orphan kids don't have to live in poverty, right? What a nice guy. Muriel, touched by that. Become so strong, no one can start war because they're afraid of us. King Ars? You know, I wonder what's really gonna happen with the second prince that we're propping up. Sorry, the first prince. The first prince right now. Because the second prince is the evil guy of Vasquez or something. But like, imagine that like the first prince right now that we're helping realizes that like ours is too good and wait is that the position is governor this isn't king a king is beyond the governor right so i don't think it's right for me to say like oh what if the first prince is like i'm undeserving i want ours to be the governor instead but a governor and king is totally different right a king is on a different level this is our small like domain but in terms of like an actual country bigger it, it's it's a different scale right King? You mean the Emperor. Okay, King and Emperor is synonymous in this world. Alright, let's create an empire. That's actually so much bloodshed though, if you want to become the Emperor. <laughs> oh shit, Dad did say that. That one passed my head. Dad called it from back then too. All right, it's time to drink. <laughs> Alicia's thinking, yes, my plan to become empress is very close. Look at him drinking through a juice. <laughs> I love how the kids have a little straw. Ours as well. Ours is a little straw just to be like, all right, these kids are not drinking beer. They're drinking juice. <laughs> drinking competition. Who can out drink me rail? Nobody. She's way too cool, man. Alright. You know, Hamsa? I just drink a lot of beer. You better start making a... You better start developing alcoholism, too. Oh. Okay. Rich is taking care of it. Okay. 
Yeah, cardio is important, kid. Just because you're a strategist. Now, even though I say cardio is important and I'm shaming him for not running, I will not do cardio myself. Uh -uh, I'm a fat piece of shit. I will. I, I hate cardio. I hate running. No. <laughs> again? Again? This kid's getting lucky as fuck today's episode. What? Again, bro? Bang. <laughs> Little boy getting dominated by two MILF lookalikes. Well, one of them is, one of them isn't, but... The Shota fan service, the fantasies, it's living, th it's living strong through, you know, Rotsu. Yeah. <laughs> How dare she carry my mans? Look, Rotsu's still getting it. What do you think, Leisha? You want to be Empress? Why so serious, bro? What's going on? Is he about to leave? Alicia understood immediately they needed personal time and left. He's got such high standards for himself. Rich is just worried. Alright, Summer. Did I get power crypt? I'm sorry. These new banner units. She's too cracked. Did she needs a fucking nerf? I'm I'm so ashamed of myself. Ars is like, nah, it's fine, bro. You're still tier A. Probably Mirel is probably like tier S. I think that Rich is like just below her. I think there's nothing wrong with Rich. Rich is just amazing, but Mirel is probably better. I want to see them fight though. I haven't seen them like Mirel seems to be better at like better or if not equal in every aspect. But I haven't seen her fight yet. I want to see that part. Emperor. Why not? From our little small country bumpkin domain to Emperor will be crazy. Yeah. What is up with Charlotte and Rotzel? Are, are they, are they trying to? Because they're actually pretty close in age. Charlotte just <laughs> grows at a different rate. I, I'm pretty sure Rotzel and Charlotte is like, they're not that like off. I'm pretty sure, right? But like, holy shit, the amount of Charlotte and Rotzel scenes, bro. <laughs> I love this dramatic wind just blowing in their hair as they say this. In my head canon, Rotel actually dr drink alcohol, now he's passed out. Even though there was like a sippy straw to maybe indicate, indicate that he's drinking like orange juice or something. <laughs> Under he's drinking, pass the fuck out. Alicia, you're always here whenever you want. I'm sure we're gonna see you so soon. I love sleeping in too. <laughs> Rich is lashing out on the poor soldiers. They really are doing the running training where she just throws like fireballs at him and he has to keep running. I thought they were joking. From the prince? Okay. Alright. <laughs> She's just sad that fucking last episode she missed out on all the food. No, no, a couple episodes ago when we went to like the, the prince, right? There's so much food and she was just at home doing nothing. The end of season one? And that is the end 
of Appraisal Isekai, and I'm sorry I didn't suit up. It's a Sunday, and Sundays I rush to stream early so I can hang out with my girlfriend later on, but like, damn. For Season 1 content, I thought it would just be another shitty Isekai that we're just gonna check out and drop later on, but like, it managed to hang on, and you guys actually gave a fuck about this show, and you know what? It makes sense why you guys cared. Like, the whole premise of this show was the main character not being so OP that he does everything, but him collecting important people around and them kind of doing all the work and him just kind of managing things. And a lot of it was good world building as well. The character developments, the depth of these characters like Charlotte, Ritz, you know, Rotzel. I didn't think it was cheap. I thought that they did a really good job in fleshing out these characters and making me actually give a fuck about the characters. Why? Because the world building, the whole setting, they didn't mess around. They didn't just jump around, just like super fast paced, going everywhere. Nah, we're just going here, we're developing them, and then we're moving on so that we're going to understand the significance of these characters. And the stage is set for season two, which is confirmed, by the way. I know it's confirmed. I just see that um, poster. It's confirmed. So it's pretty much just going to be like us going to handle the succession war with the first and the second prince, right? So that's kind of where it's being set up. And then even hinting at like future, future content where it's going to be our rise to become emperor of this place. So I thought that this anime was a pleasant surprise. It definitely wasn't the shitty isekai that I thought it would be. I would give this a minimum 7 out of 10. I think a 7 is a very good score. Most animes that we watch are around the 5 to 6 range, right? I think this is minimum 7 and has room for argument to be um, higher up, right? I like to give a range because sometimes, like, I feel like recency bias and stuff like that, it, it's hard to really give a score on the spot. I'd have to go back and really assess everything. But just, like, intuition alone, minimum 7 and it could be higher. That's it from me. If you're still here... If you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlists for more content, and until next time, take care.